everybody. I'm Mike with Omega Survival and I wanted to go over different shelter options, um, <clears throat> different peckable shelter options, uh, mainly tarps, different type of tarps. Um, I have a few different backpacks and I try to keep everything as consistent as possible in all three of them so that if I ever just need to grab one and go I have roughly the same amount of stuff in each one even though um, I have different grades of stuff uh, I have a low grade backpack that I, I don't it's not really low grade it's a really good one it's just that uh, maybe some of the equipment I have in it was like my first generation of stuff and the longer I divulge myself into this world of gear and knives and backpacks and tactical stuff um, the more I learn the more new better things I come across and I get them and <clears throat> I take my first generation of stuff and I put it away down into the next bag and I have my favorites you know I have my favorite bag and that's what I like to keep my best stuff in and then I have uh, my second favorite bag which I like to keep fairly the middle grade stuff in and I just have uh, my first favorite bag which is my least favorite now that I keep some of the lower end stuff in and that's what I'll start with um, I have a Camelback Hog. We had a Camelback Hog 100 ounce, and this is the one kit that I keep in there. Um, I keep a spoon. I keep some extra stuff in here. I have other Molly pouches and Expedition organizers, but you don't need that for everything. Sometimes I come across stuff like this for a dollar in the flea market. Uh, I got a half a mylar blanket in the back. You could use that as a reflective liner for something if you needed to. But this one in this kit, I have the four mini paracord ties, blaze orange, and it's got a reflective thread through it. <clears throat> the four SOL ultralight tent stakes that come with that. Um, I keep a packable saw. This one's not really a bushcraft saw. I'm a carpenter. And this is a uh, Lennox. Plumbers and stuff use these for cutting pipe, but I put a wood blade in it. And this one's camouflaged. So. I have one of the Milwaukee axe blades in it, which are really good blades. This actually processes wood down really good. Um, I actually want to put this into my lowest grade bag, and I want to get a new Baco Laplander and put it in this kit, and uh, just keep this as a spare. I'm going to keep some paracord on there. You can never have enough of that. Um, it's always good to keep as much as you can. The reason why I don't have so much paracord in this one kit particularly is because I usually keep at least 100 foot, 150 foot in every one of my bags. As well as um, Gorilla on the go tape. The one inch stuff, the small rolls, I keep that. I keep um, a lot of other stuff. I keep carabiners, uh, night eyes clips, different kinds of fasteners. and. All kinds of stuff I'll get into in a minute. I like to keep a knife in each one. In this kit, I happen to have my Spyderco Paramilitary 2, just because it's good to have a knife. It's very important. One thing I am lacking in this that I should do, and I'm going to do, is buy a good supply of ferro rods. I can get the... Uh, Half inch by five inch monster ferro rods at a really good deal 
and I can get like 10 of them for, I believe it was like 30 bucks, and it's good to just have them around, throw a couple in each kit, you can never have too many abundances of things, um, I'm not sure what this bag was for, I just like keeping this stuff in here, but I think that's it. I think that's all I have in it. Now this is a 70 by 90 emergency blanket or tarp. It's got the mylar in it. This is from SOL. As you can see it's reflective and it's very heavy duty. This isn't like a mylar blanket like a space blanket. This is really really heavy duty stuff. And uh, it opens up really good. And I guess the theory with these is that you take a pebble and you put it in the corner and you tie your rope around that pebble and tighten it up and it'll hold it in place. Now, that's okay and all, but I would only use this in the most extreme emergency situation possible. Um, because I have something way better that I keep in my primary pack. Uh, I would, however, use this as an emergency blanket in my primary pack, but I try to keep a shelter in each one, and that's what this one is for. And it all fits back in here nice and neat. I really do need to get a ferro rod in here. Let me just keep it in there because it keeps it all together. Put it at the bottom of my backpack. Um, my next one, this is a Condor Molly bag. And I didn't like the handle pulls that they had on here, so I replaced it with 350 pound paracord. Big, you can grab them. Um, you could attach it to the outside of any Molly compatible backpack, but I usually just throw this in there. I got it because it's red, you know, red emergency. At the time was my thought. Um, I keep a Kershaw Cryo 2 inside there. That's where I keep him because it's always good to have a knife. Again, I'm lacking a ferro rod. No. This kit's a little more extravagant than the last. Um, I actually have to go through this stuff again and resort it out because I have certain things from this kit that I want to use on my good kit now this spring, but I'll do that before the spring. Then I get about 40 feet of the 350 power cord, the thinner stuff. It's not as thick, so that's why I can keep a bundle like that. And I get about I don't know, 15 or 20 feet. Uh, yeah, this is the 550 mil spec OD green. And uh, I keep an assortment of clips and carabiners in here to face in a tarp shelter. Um, I have a set of the night eyes paracord clips. It just goes through there and you pull it and it locks without tying any knots. Um, I have two more heavy duty. Um, these are the workload carabiners. And I have two more sets of the night eyes. Figure nines. It's the same thing. You just loop it around it and loop it around it and it locks it in place just for different options I tried to give myself a couple different options now this what I did here was I had an old tent <clears throat> that was no good to me anymore I don't remember why I think the uh, zipper broke on the front door the front hatch of the tent so I had to get rid of the tent but what I did was I kept the waterproof top 
and I sprayed it a couple of times also with a waterproofing spray. See, this has got all of the clips and everything at the ends already on it on all four corners so I can tie it in to the shock cord or use this and there's one of them at each corner and that's why I thought that this would be great um, it opens up pretty big I don't want to open it up here I'm actually going to make a video when the weather gets nicer this spring on how I put up my shelters with these tarps but uh, I think this was for a four to six man tent I believe um, I'm not exactly sure but I'm almost positive this is for a four to six man tent and uh, smushed down this way and it smushes real tight and uh, I think I would have to say maybe somewhere between 70 and 80 inches or 70 and 90 inches something like that maybe like six and a half by nine feet somewhere in there I'm not sure the exact dimensions but it's big enough for a shelter now this is my pride and joy. Um, a lot of people probably have seen this before. I use it in a lot of my vid videos for a background just because I think it looks really cool. And uh, this is an official US MC um, Marpat field tarp. Wet weather. And uh, these ran about a hundred bucks. This was no joke. This is a serious tarp. This is, um, I believe it's eight by ten feet. I could be wrong. Um, don't quote me on that. But it's also got the really heavy duty snaps on it. And you could turn this into a sleeping bag if you had to. Just then button snap in, but uh, it opens up really big. This is the outside, and I love that uh, more pack camo. And here's the inside, it's very lightweight, and it's got these grommets all over. Um, there's one on each corner, and one in the middle of each side. So, it's very versatile, <clears throat> they're really strong, and this, I just pulled up, like that, and I keep it in the bottom of my backpack, by itself, because I have so much more equipment in my backpack. Give me a second and I'll get it and show everybody how I usually set myself up before I go out. This is the Hazard 4 second front military grade backpack. Um, probably the best I've ever owned. I don't really want to get into the contents. Um, first aid kit, hatchet, iPod. Output flashlight, bushcraft knife, wicked tree gear saw. I'm just gonna run over it quick. I got a Wetterlings Hunter's Hatchet, razor sharp, my Leatherman, and a big old Maxpedition kit that I keep lots of stuff in. Lots of repair stuff, fire starting, huge ferro rod. Uh, I keep money in there sometimes. Lots and lots of power cord. I think there's about 50 feet right here of 550 gecko green paracord, um, emergency water filter, glow light, 
I usually keep a little flashlight in here, but I don't know where it is. A pen. Um, cotton balls and Vaseline. Is that vinyl fabric and plastic flexible adhesive? UTO matches. So I have very extensive stuff in here. There's the Gorilla Tape. That stuff's the best. I love it. Um, I keep more paracord for the kit here. I just have it stuffed all over the place in this bag. Um, this bag actually has a Molly panel that attaches to the four corners right here and has Molly all across it, across the whole thing on both sides. Um, no, I'm sorry, I believe one side is Velcro, one side is Molly for concealed carry, and uh, it's a huge amount of space. I've done a review on this, I don't really want to get into it that deep again, but uh, there's a heavy duty climbing grade carabiner, and I usually keep two or three of them in here. Um, some more paracord. More mil spec paracord. 350 pound test climbing grade utility cord. Everybody needs one of them. Even if only it gives you something to do. Here outdoors, I keep some medication in there. A good pen. Um, yeah, this kit's very extensive. This is my favorite. But I take this. Because of how this opens, it fits perfect in the bottom. I'm going to take my stuff. This thing really does fit a ridiculous amount of stuff because it's so wide open. And then I just take all my stuff and put it back on top. Somehow. I'm good to go. I keep a water bottle in here and in here. Um, this is equipped to handle a hydration bladder in the back. Awesome pack. Uh, very heavy duty hazard for second front. Um, I did a full review on this, like I said. Really good back padding. Uh, it's got a grab handle at the top and the bottom. It's got one on the side. Just so many features of Molly everywhere. This opens up. So. And uh, that's where the hydration bladder goes, and through here, looks into there just like a camel bag. But um, so as you've seen, I have most of the stuff I need to build any kind of shelter I need, even if it's not with the tarp. I have enough paracord that I keep with me that I can build a shelter from scratch. And. Uh, Here's my actual camel bag hog. This is my second favorite backpack. And this is where I keep my red kit that I had spoken about. I shove it down here. And it stays there. I get the flashlight going here. Um, actually this flashlight, I got one here too. It's supposed to be in my other kit. I gotta go through this stuff and reorganize it. It's a 300 lumen Cree Ultra Fire. You can pick these up for three dollars on eBay, and it's so bright. It really is. It's got the parabolic lens, which I also did a review of. Uh, I think I did a review of that. I keep a Night Eyes Espina right on the outside. Bar Griffer Bravo One, 100 foot. Mill spec paracord. This is where I've been keeping the Bark River Parang. So, and other stuff. I have 
tough totes full of gear. And uh, I got the big black hawk. Six by six, or no, this is the eight by eight in the front. And I do have the proper hydration bladder for this that I use so much in the summertime. It's a hundred ounce bladder. Insulated hose. So the only thing I don't like about this is when you pack too much weight in it. The padding's so stiff it hurts your shoulders, but it's an incredibly well built bag. And this is not my last backpack, but uh it's my last favorite one. It's the Vanquest Trident 20. I keep uh See, I just keep a ton of paracord. I got 60 or 70 feet of the true mill spec 550 cord, 7 strand in there that it could further help me build shelters with. Um, I just keep things everywhere. I got more paracord, 350. You can never have enough cord. Doesn't matter if it's paracord, hard bank line. Uh, just a spool of mason line, whatever you can get your hands on. Just try to have tons of it. Um, it's probably one of the most useful things. I got my Fisker's hatchet that I made a kydex sheath for. It's nothing fancy, but it works really well, and it's a lot smaller than what comes with it. If anybody out there owns one of these, they know that the sheath that it comes in is huge. It's not packable. Um, this is for M4 magazines, but I use it to hold a stainless steel water bottle. And I have right there. Um, there's my beauty. Uh, this knife is probably my favorite. It's my SE5 with the full sheath I did a review of also, so I'm not going to get into that. Um, I keep a folder in here too. Keep the zero tolerance. 55. Uh, I mean 550. It's a tank of a knife too that I haven't done a review of yet, and I will. I need to do a review of that. I keep a Really good compass, military grade, uh, climbing grade, really heavy duty climbing grade carabiners, and a figure eight, uh, 50 foot of climbing grade Prusik line. I think this is 3,500 pound test because the terrain in my area is treacherous. It's really bad. I use that. In case of emergencies, I got more paracord. I stuff it everywhere. I forget about it and just leave it there in case I need it. Um, I'll just grab that and go. That's the Vanquest Molly panel. And it's got the Vanquest speed clips in it. It's another Max Edition bag. I have no idea what's even in here. Um, this is the bandana, the new SE10 that I'm going to be building a small survival kit with. And I have no idea why. I have a recorder in there. But I have more stuff. I have hand warmers in here. I keep a little money. Matches, emergency. And this is just stuff that I like to throw in these bags and forget. Forget that they have. They have it in there. And this is a cook kit of mine that uh, I haven't put together yet, but I want to take that plastic thing off and do what everybody's been doing with these and put a key ring on it so it's all steel. I don't know why Stanley wouldn't have done that, but that's another review. But as you can see, the reason why I decided to extensively show what I keep in a lot of my backpacks is because I keep... Tons of options, as many as I can, for as many situations as I can think of. Uh, I got small carabiners in here for building shelter and surviving the worst conditions you could think of. And uh, 
There's another side here, but I don't really put nothing in there besides pens and paper. Um, anyway, I just wanted to go over shelter options, packable shelter options for bushcrafting or hiking with everybody. And uh, I hope somebody learned something from my video that maybe they didn't realize before or uh, got a new idea, something that they could use to help them. Um, that's what it's all about, as much knowledge and uh, transfer of information as you can think of, and uh, talking and conversing with people, you know, the Facebook groups are a really great place. Um, I have a good Facebook group with a lot of good people, it's got over 500 members, and it's growing pretty strong, and that's uh, backpacks, pouches, gear, and knives, and me and my buddy Muskrat Jim, Jim Blanchard from Canada, have uh, started another group together recently called Bushcrafters Den. It's picking up really good. So my idea to make this one video is to just go over as many options as I could to show people the different options. And uh, I'm specifically making this video to post to my groups. So I hope you all appreciate it and maybe have learned something. And... I'm Mike with Omega Survival, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe so you can see more upcoming videos, and thank you for watching.